I'm Wendy Gill with Essential West Local Land Services, Mixed Farming Officer, based at Forbes. Today we're going to look at calculating plant establishment in sown row crops. We use this calculation to help make sure we are making some critical decisions about your enterprise. One of these decisions is to look at objectively monitoring and adjusting your seeding rates to hit your targeted yields. It will also help assist you on farm for your fertiliser budget decisions and management going forward with all your sown row crops. Using the LLS pasture square, walk into your sown row crop paddock, choose a random row using the one metre rule function, run it parallel and lay it on the ground between the rows. Count along the length of the one metre rule. How many plants have actually germinated in the establishment along the furrows? Record this number on the recording sheet or in a notebook. Ideally, we'd like you to repeat this process at least 10 times. Using the conversion table on the local land services pasture square, align your row spacings in either centimetres or inches to your sowing implement. Use this conversion table to convert your row spacing measurements for your own equipment to rows per metre squared. Again, record this figure on the recording sheet. We now use those combined figures of your average plants per metre, multiply the number of the rows per metre squared to calculate the plants per metre squared within your sown row crop. This formula can also be found on the local land services pasture square for your easy reference. If you need to convert your plants per metre squared figure to a plants per hectare, multiply this figure by 10,000. With your workings from all your sown row crops of using your figures for plants per hectare as your establishment figure within your sown row crop, you can also use and refer to industry plant-based population guides for different sown row crops, whether that be a cereal, a pulse or a canola. You can use your establishment figures to compare them against the industry standards to ensure your plant population and establishment of your sown row crops are at adequate levels to achieve your desired goals for your enterprise and your end use, whether that's for livestock fodder or for grain. 